Hey Virgos, and welcome back to my channel, Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you who are new to the channel, Virgo, please do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below along with the notification bell. That way you can be notified anytime I go live or post new content. So Virgos, let's get right into your reading. Please do keep in mind, Virgo, that the reading will not resonate with every single Virgo. So please check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. I know that I say this every video, but I still have people commenting saying stupid things like, this is not my story. So if it's not your story, does it resonate? Click off, right? Really simple. All right, so let's hop right in. Let's get some messages from the universe first and see what what you need to be aware of going forward. And then also we'll take a look at what's coming in for you for the month of November, all right? What messages? Do you have for the sign of Virgo, sun rising in Venus, of a spirit? What's the advice for Virgo going forward? We have the taming powers of the small. We have the wanderer. Companionship. Okay. So we have the Wanderer, Companionship, the Taming Power of the Small, Traveling Adventure, Movement, Coping with Unfamiliarity, a Pilgrimage, Aloneness, Broaden Your Horizons. So Virgo, some of you may have been in a companionship with someone where you, where you may have felt alone for some of you and you've pulled back your energy Self-restraint, self-sufficiency. You're just trying to take care of it. You're trying to do the damn thing by yourself, Virgo. Careful preparations, resourcefulness, minor impediments. For some of you, there's been some setbacks in this connection. Adaptability. You've been trying to adjust to it. You've been trying to tell yourself, I'm going to be fine. But it's difficult when you have this companionship with this person. Um, you know, you want to strengthen the bonds between you two. We have strengthening bonds, mutual respect, interdependence. Friendliness, shared goals, agreement. You feel like you may have had a mutual agreement with this person, but this person may have wandered off. So you may be, look, you might be dealing with a wanderer. Like this person, I feel like this person um, may be out to see what they can see. You know, maybe this person doesn't want to um, fully commit Virgo for some of y'all. Like I said, the messages will not resonate with every Virgo. So if it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it's not your story, it's okay. Traveling, adventure, movement. A pilgrimage brought your horizons. So this person, whoever y'all are dealing with, this person, um, Virgo, they may like want to explore their options for some of y'all. Some of y'all know this already. Um, but for some of you, you're just like, you know what? I'm going to do this alone. I'm going to move on my own journey. Um, this has definitely been an adventure for you. But for some of you, Spirit is saying that companionship is coming. That person that's going to show you that mutual respect, that love that you deserve, that, that has the same goals as you, you're going to be able to strengthen the bonds with that person. So, so for some of you, new love is going to be coming in and you're going to have a strong bond with this person. You two are going to be on the same page. There may be some minor impediments, but it will be something that you will be able to adapt to. Okay. So let's see uh, what are the messages for what's coming in for y'all for November. What's coming in for Virgo? What's coming in for Virgo? Insatiable. <laughs> okay, so um, unquenchable wanting more. Virgo, somebody can't get enough of you. They can't get enough of you. We have realization. Yeah, they're just coming to this realization. I feel like you may have pulled back your energy. Um, realization, awareness, finding out, coming to light. We have denial. First, this person may have been in denial, but they really are in love with you, <laughs> Virgo. Irrational reasoning, not facing the truth. Yep, only seeing things, you know, one-sided or through those blinders. You know, the rose-colored glasses get you in trouble every time. Yeah, they're going to come begging for you to come back. Because you have an irresistible pull. Look. You have an irresistible pull on them. Yeah. 
What you do to them, Virgo? We have alien, telepathic dreams and songs. So this person or you both may be seeing like uh, one synchronicities, but here you may telepathically be communicating with each other. Like they may just really feel your energy here. Virgo, what else is coming in for Virgo? It's a situation for Virgo for November. Yeah, you, you may feel like you have lost this person because you two may not be communicating. We have ghosted, cut off, blocked. You may have cut them off. Virgo, because like I said, this person was in denial about them really, really wanting you. We have love affair, dirty little secret down low. For some of you, they may have been involved with somebody else, Virgo, for some of you, and you found out about it. That's why you cut them off, but they're still in love with you. But for some of you, um, <clears throat> they enjoy the sex with you. They enjoy the sex with you, the love affair. It was a very passionate relationship sexually. Twin flames. Uh, yeah, this could definitely be your other half. Twin flame, mirrored souls, uh, the one. Yeah. So the chemistry between you two is like, I get a hot and cold. Like one minute the person's really passionate towards you, Virgo, and the next minute it's like an in and out energy is what I get. Meaning, uh, two or more people. Yeah, I feel like you two will come back together. They will come back around to you, Virgo, once they come out of this energy of being in denial because they're in love with you. Look, we have love. We have love. Everything is love. Adore, admire, enchantment. So, yeah, they just feel so, you know, like it's like magical when they're with you, Virgo. Yeah. Um, I feel like you're cleansing yourself of this person's energy. Um... I feel like you've compromised enough and you've decided like to just remove them from your space. This person is obsessed with you. They are, must have indulgence and we have insatiable, right? Yeah. And out of nowhere, out of nowhere, this person is gonna pop up. They're gonna pop up, they're gonna text you, message you call you virgo but this person definitely is obsessed with you they are thinking about you however this person is in denial make it make sense right um this person can be very childish but they're on the verge of telling you how they really feel we have divine masculine yeah this person's got you on their mind for sure we have journal writing diary keeping notes I feel like with this message here, with journal, writing, diary, keeping notes, I feel like you've been keeping a mental note on this person's behavior. Um, yeah. Pressure cooker, rage, ready to explode. I feel like you might be ready to go off on this person when they finally do reach, reach out, Virgo, because you ain't got time for the games. You ain't got time for the games. Let's see. Yeah, lockdown, confined, mental prison. Like you love this person, but they just, yeah, they play too much. They play too much. And they're almost, they're almost running out of time. We have searching online, looking for info or records. I feel like some of you may, um, be waiting to hear from this person, Virgo. Like you may notice that they're online, like if they're on WhatsApp or something or Facebook Messenger, you may be checking to see their <laughs> their active status. Yeah, but the situation really does weigh you down. It really does weigh you down. Because you really do have feelings for this person, but they, they're in very in and out. I feel like right now you're coming, you're going through an, a spiritual awakening here, an ascension about this relationship that you deserve better. You deserve better. And I feel like you've been knowing that, Virgo. I feel like you've been knowing that. Interlude. Right now is not the time. We have pause and we have time and factor. So right now, or at one point, there had been a disconnect between you two or very little communication. Because the relationship was toxic, we have poison here. Right now, spirit saying, yeah, it's time for you to step into your divine feminine energy. Okay, even if you're a divine masculine, you can step into the feminine energy by standing in your power, setting healthy boundaries. I feel like you feel like things were final, but I don't feel like this person's letting go of you. Um, I don't feel like they're letting you go. I feel like you let it go, but they didn't. 
Yep, they're coming back. They're coming back, Virgo. Look, we got recalling. We got recalling. Reminiscing memories returning. They think about you all the time, Virgo. Always on my mind. Soulmates. They feel like you're their soulmate. And they're not done. Look, you feel like you're done. You're like, okay, listen, learn. Thank you, next. Right? But I ended up with Sean. But it wasn't a match. <laughs> Wrote some song about Ricky. Now I listen and laugh. Even almost got married. And for Pete, I'm so thankful. Okay, so anywho. That's that. But um, y'all are done, Virgo. Y'all are like, mm, let's not say we did. Let's see what the advice is here. Let's see what the advice is. Because I'm so curious. What's the advice here for Virgo? Yeah, they're in denial, but they really do want you, Virgo. Three of swords. Three of swords. Ow. Ow. Three of swords. Yeah, it's time. Look, another one bites the dust, Virgo. Three of Swords. This part, they, they could have had you, especially with Love Affair being here. They could have, for some of y'all, had you in a third part situation. And this person regrets the way that they've treated you. Five of Cups. Three of Cups. They do want happiness with you, Virgo. Like I said, they could have been entertaining someone else. Right? Which is why they were in denial about their love for you because they also have feelings for someone else. We have the Queen of Cups. Mm-hmm. They see you in this light of very nurturing, very loving, very giving, very supportive. They do want success with you. They do want to come forward and make things right. They do want to, they do want to tell you the truth, but they've been withdrawn because they've been scared to tell you the truth. They've been, they've been scared. They've been scared, Virgo. They do want to move forward. Six of Swords. They do. They want to move into a more peaceful energy with you, Virgo. They will come forward. They will reach out for communication because they want a new start in this relationship with the Page of Pentacles. They, they want a new start here. They're ready to start over like, damn, I know I missed the, the Five of Cups, right? The Fool. Yeah, they're going to come take a leap of faith towards you and they're going to call or text you. This, this go around, they do want to they do want to give it to you. Virgo, Six of Pentacles. They want to balance, they want to balance things out. They want to make the right, the wrongs right. Okay? They do. Yeah, they want they want to talk to you, Virgo. They do. King of Swords. But they're so scared. With well, the King of Swords, they're like so scared and so nervous. Like they don't know how you're gonna take it. Uh, when they come towards you, but they do want to come. First of all, no scrubs, Virgo, no scrubs. Right? Page of Pentacles. That's, the Page of Pentacles, that's the energy I get from him. Like, it's a stable offer, but it's little. It's just little bitty. Virgo, who does nobody want a little bitty thing? Not like that, okay? Not like that. But y'all know what I'm trying to say. Like, come on, a page? A page. That's like a noodle. Don't nobody want a noodle? We want a whole buffet. But yeah, they want to come back. They want to reach out. They want to reach out and communicate. They want to talk to you. What do they want to talk about? Now I got to be nosy, Virgo. Now I got to be nosy. Let's see. What do they want to talk to Virgo about? What does this person, this past person, want to tell Virgo? Well, first of all, first of all, I saw the Seven of Pentacles, which tell me they took too damn long. That's one. We're wasting time. Get on my nerve. Four of Swords, they needed some time to do some healing for themselves, Virgo. They do want the Ten of Cups with you. They see you as their Ten of Cups. The end all be all right. What else do they want to tell Virgo? Cause y'all know I gotta be nosy. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they, they feel like there could be abundance here between the two of you with the Nine of Pentacles energy. They see that you're very self-sufficient, very independent, and you're just doing the damn thing. Yeah, yeah. They were guarded in the past. They were guarded in the past. The Queen of Pentacles. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, 
You're practical, nurturing, grounded, Virgo, and they love that about you. You know how to hold your own. You got the bag, first of all, queen of pentacles. You're very successful at whatever it is you do. They want to come back. And yes, they were on some fuckery in the past. Okay? That's what they want you to know. That's what they're going to want to come back and tell you. I know I was manipulative. I know I played games. I know I was acting the fool, wasn't serious. But I want another shot at this, Virgo. Can we do it? Can we talk? Can we talk for a minute? Girl, I want to know your name. Yeah, Virgo. They want to talk to you. So that's been your reading, Virgo. Collective reading for the month of November. Please keep in mind the messages will not resonate with every single Virgo. So if that's the case, if not your story, that's okay, right? But if you enjoyed the reading and it resonated, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to book a personal, my website will be down in the description box below. All readings are 50% off again this month. So hurry and book now because as it gets closer to the holidays, I will not be doing personals. All right, you guys, until next time, love you.